just when you thought the cringe was over. It's back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. You know, I kind of liked the theme of the last video, so I decided it needed a sequel. So here it is. Murdered by Words 2. Revenge. All right. Book your appointment to the chiropractor in advance. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I have an IQ of 154, and I want to make good use of my giftedness. Currently in 11th grade, what should I do? You have an IQ of 154, and you're asking strangers what to do. My advice? Get another test. The last one was a false positive. Amen. We need more cars like my 100% American-made, fully loaded, 2011 Taurus, and fewer of your imported glorified golf carts known as Teslas. Your Taurus was made up of mostly imported parts. Teslas have the most American-made parts than any other manufacturer. Nice try, though. It's funnier that you're the first person I've heard of bragging about owning a Ford Taurus. Thanks for the laugh. If you are not an eyewitness, you are a false witness. If you don't see it, you shouldn't be gossiping about it. That eliminates the Gospels themselves. Thanks. This Me Too shit is getting out of control. Guys getting their lives ruined over touching a girl's back or hitting on someone. Fuck this country's getting soft. Wow, I wonder why a person who has kicked a woman in the face, broken another's leg, and has to pay models to hang out with him would feel nervous about this movement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dan, that's Danny Boy. That's some real fucking self-made alpha shit right there. Got him. So I'm pumping gas and all I hear is, God damn. Then another man says, yeah, man, I said the same thing. <laughs> and I'm acting like I don't hear either one. Gas is $4 a gallon and you think they were talking about you. <laughs> a wise man once said, and I quote, bitches be trippin'. Dear kids, I'm a baby boomer. We are getting old. But at least we had sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Seems like millennials have moral panics, workshops, and grievance circles. Time to rebel! You guys literally had legal segregation and lynchings. And also cheap housing and college, and then you proceeded to blow the economy to smithereens, settling the country with debt from your outsized greed, and have the nerve to sit on high horses. Imagine that. And this is why I am not willing to get dragged into a heated debate over vaccines with you. There is a plethora of information out there, guys. If you're willing to do the research the way I did, just for the record, I have done my master's in science epidemiology. I simply don't have the time to sit and educate those who were too short-sighted and nasty. If that's the case, you might want to update your LinkedIn profile. It's showing your BA in music slash singing. <clears throat> All right, this one's coming from Kimmy. I have the best advice for women in business, Kim Kardashian says. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like no one wants to work these days. No, I have the best advice. Be born into a rich family, get a shit ton of plastic surgery, film, and then release an orchestrated sex tape. Parlay that planned notoriety into a reality show exploiting your younger sisters and voila, easy peasy. Kim, I toss you in the ocean, but we already have enough problems with plastic pollution. Boom, roasted. All right, this needs some backstory. A while ago, uh, some members of the Florida Senate uh, were gonna pass a bill uh, prohibiting students from talking about uh, gender identity and sexuality and the LGBT community was uh, out justifiably outraged. And then Mark Hamill uh, took to Twitter and spammed the word gay in solidarity of the LGBT community. And the unthinkable happened. Ben Shapiro decided to weigh in on the subject. 
So I take it you want to indoctrinate small children into gender and sexual ideology because that's the only reason you're parodying idiotic propaganda. Well, yeah, I, I can't do a good Ben Shapiro impression without Adderall. Also, children talking about sexuality isn't the same as them engaging in it, you fucking shit merchant, Ben. But Luke Skywalker himself decided to clap back. And speaking of impressions, let's see if I can do this one. Hi, Ben. I love mind reading acts. Now, guess which finger I'm holding up. <laughs> also, Benny, stop creeping on your sister on Twitter, dude. It's weird. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Last weekend, I went into an Atlanta coffee shop right after Ryan Reynolds had been there. The staff was so flustered they got my order wrong. Uh, but I'm Canadian, so I drank it. Curious to see if they got his order wrong, too. I don't think they got my order wrong. Partly because I always ordered a really simple black coffee. But mainly because I wasn't in Atlanta. Let me put this as diplomatically as I can. Fuck you and your lies. Long live free Ukraine. This guy claims that he was a diplomat. <laughs> can you believe it? Excellency, aren't you one of the liars who claimed that Ukraine intended to attack and that Russia would never do anything so barbaric? You are serving war criminals, so resign, apologize, or fuck off. In addition, what are you doing on Twitter, which your government has banned in Russia? You know how to say owned in Russian? OWNED! <laughs> Jake Paul looks like a gay stripper with daddy issues. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what did gay strippers with daddy issues ever do to you, pal? And since we're on the topic of Jake Paul, Jake Paul tried to endorse some kind of fake deal that he's not going to live up to with UFC president Dana White, and it reads, Dana, since you like me now, how about a one-fight UFC deal to fight Connor? If I win, you agree to pay my UFC fighter pay healthcare proposal. If I lose, I donate my entire purse to all UFC fighters who make less than 50k a night and never mention the UFC again. Deal? Okay, I know he didn't write that because it doesn't have the words bruh and main every other fucking word. And how does Dana White respond to this little shit you might ask? Well... You notice how he wants to fight fucking everybody that's not in his weight class? Guys that are older in this bullshit, go fight a boxer. Go hump someone else's leg, you goofball. Now that's a lot of damage! And also, Jake, stop picking fights with these people. Dude, your record is more padded than the room your brother belongs in. Seriously, when all this boxing is said and done, all you're gonna be known for is crypto schemes and doing this fake marriage with some blonde bimbo who screams the n-word into the ether that's all you're going to be known for so dude and i know why you're padding your record it's because you're protecting that little brain inside that big head of yours well you may want to stop because you're going to need that brain to defend all those lawsuits from those crypto schemes okay okay bye all right guys and guys without dicks that's about all the time I have for you today. If you liked what you heard, consider subscribing, leave a comment, and a like. Maybe even a dislike. <laughs> it's not like anybody's going to see it anyway. Well, except for me. Alright, until next cringe fest, stay tuned. And more importantly, stay awkward. Bye!